Hey everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video we're going to go over a bunch of different ways to play a D minor chord. So we're going to go over three or four ways to play just the basic D minor. We're going to talk about turning it into a sus chord, sus2, sus4, and then also turning it into a seventh chord. So I'm going to give you a handful of different common voicings, some of my favorite voicings, and then this way anytime you see that chord, you have a few options of where you could play it and maybe you switch between one or two just to give it a different kind of a sound. Before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you wanna be notified of any new lesson, be sure to tap the bell. So in this D minor chord, we got the notes D, F, and A. That's all it is. So in this main open position voicing, we've got a D, we've got an A, we've got a D, and then we've got an F. And that's all that is, right? So, so the open A string is part of that chord, so we could even add that in. We want to avoid the E, so you could go like this to mute it out, or just be careful not to hit it. Okay, so now the cool thing about D, whether it's D major or D minor, is on guitar we have access to the sus2 and the sus4 chord. So basically we take this note, which is the third of the chord, the minor third, that's what makes it a minor chord. Minor, major, minor, major. And we just let go and we have D sus2, or we add the pinky, and we have D sus4. So you could always experiment with those in place of D minor. So in the intro I did something like, Right? Okay, cool. Now, we could also, instead of playing the open D string, we could add the F on the third fret of the D string. And we could do, with the ring finger, third fret on the D, middle finger, second fret on the G, pinky, third fret on the B, and then first finger, index finger, first fret on the E. Now that is also a D minor chord, and we could add the A if we want. Now this one is nice kind of coming from a C. Just like that, you know, because these two fingers just come down. So. So that's something we can do, and that's a movable chord shape. So like, let's say we wanted to do a chord progression C, D minor, E minor. See, I took that D minor shape, being it's a movable shape because there's no, no open strings, we can just move it up a whole step to get E minor. Or you could just play this little cluster on strings two, three, and four counting toes to nose. That's a nice minor chord cluster, and it's movable. Cool. So that really takes care of open position. We could play a D minor 7, which would be to take this note, and which is the root, and bring it back two frets to the minor 7th. And then we have... And that's actually the same as an F chord. You know, here's an F, here's a D minor seven. The difference is the D. So I like to play that actually using my first and second finger on the first fret of strings one and two, and then my third finger on the second fret of the, of the uh, G string, third string. So that's a D minor seven. Cool, so we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and then we've got this. That's all in open position. All right, then the next place to go is right here. So this is the A minor shape bar chord, if this is an A minor. 
just move that up from frets 1 and 2 to frets 6 and 7. But now we add a bar in place of the nut, right? Because if this was the nut, we're going to add that bar. Now you could bar all six strings if you wanted to. I don't like to do that. I usually just start with the root note, which is here, D. So we've got the root note, and then we build that A minor shape. And I mute out the low E string with the tip of my first finger. So it ends up being fretwise X, five, seven, seven, six, five, and fingerwise index, ring, pinky, middle, index. So in order to get this bar, my thumb is straight up and down on the bottom of the neck. I drop my wrist, and then I pull my elbow in to get a bit of a twisting action so that it's the side of my finger that does the bar. It's not straight on, it's kind of to the side. And this gives me a little bit of wiggle room while I could still press down. Whereas if I was straight, I can't really wiggle my finger at all or else it'll come up off the strings. So this is straight up and down and these fingers are straight in. So these are perpendicular, this is straight up and down. Right angle here, straight up and down there. Now a few variations in this position. D minor seven, just lift up the pinky. And that frees you up to do things like. So we could add notes from the pentatonic scale. So on the first string, counting toes to nose, we use the pinky on fret eight. On the second string, fret eight. On the third string, fret seven. And then between that, you know, we could add a lot of embellishments. So that's the minor seven and some variations. Now we could also play a D sus two by just lifting up the second finger, the middle finger. kind of go in between. See, so I have all these variations, but it, it's all because of this bar. Having that bar allows us to really play around with the fingers. All right, then we've got this main shape, the E minor shape. Here's an E minor if we imagine it as a bar chord. We just bring it up to fret 10 and 12. So we have fretwise 10, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10. And that's index, ring, pinky, index, index, index. Okay, now the variations here. I could lift up the pinky and make it a D minor seven. And then that frees up my pinky to play a D minor nine by just adding the 12th fret on the high E string. Or on the 13th fret, that's just another version of D minor. That adds the minor third, and this note is the ninth. So ninth, minor third. Now with this chord, you don't have to play all the frets. You could just do this. Or this. Or this. Or this. So you want to experiment with partial chords. You know, on this chord, you could just go, just play the top three strings. Or if it's the minor seven, it's like a D shape. Right? So you want to experiment with just little three string groupings. And then one popular thing to do here, if you know the pentatonic scale, is to just kind of add little pentatonic riffs. 
you know. And then the last one is the same as this one. So here's D minor. Now if we imagine that as a bar chord with our first finger here, it looks like this. Then if we bring it up to frets 12, 13, 14, 15, it looks like that. So it ends up uh, X, X, 12, 14, 15, 13. And we could add that note too. So we could bar the first finger, turn it into a bar chord, and, and even get the note A on the A string. Or just play it like this, without a bar. And then in the intro, I added my pinky here. So then I could bar my pinky, and then it becomes a sus4. Just like down here, where we went. And then I could lift up my second finger, and it's a sus2, just like down here. But then I have to bar with the first finger. All right, everybody, so I hope you learned a couple new voicings of a D minor chord. So I would just freely explore moving up the neck and experimenting with different voicings. So you could stay in one position, regular, sus, and then you're kind of adding riffs. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you want to learn more about playing guitar, head over to guitartricks.com. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.